up against Raw She Warren. Well, the last time we saw the little fellow in blue, who's Roshi Warren, representing the United States in this 51 kilogram contest against England's Don Broadhurst. Warren was actually boxing in Athens in the 48 kilogram, the very lightest of all. And he was the youngest boxer, not just on the American team, but the youngest boxer in the entire Olympic boxing tournament. He won't actually be 18 until the 13th of February next year. So it's Roshi Warren. American Olympic representative against the 2003 ABA champion from the Birmingham Irish Club, Don Broadhurst, who's uh, now 20 years of age. Busy little start, and already Warren, with all that experience behind him, has uh, opened up a four-point gap, and Broadhurst is finding this a little bit on the tough side, and it's a very, very typical American stance from uh, Roshi Warren with the hands down low, and he, uh, he looks very easy and very lazy, and he looks very confident. He certainly does. He's... Um He's a well-scored boxer, he really is. You know, the southpaw stance will pose Broadhurst problems. The right, the right foot, right-handed lead, southpaw is causing him problems. Well, I wonder if uh, Broadhurst actually watched Warren's only contest in Athens in the 48 kilogram division. He was beaten and pretty comprehensively beaten 22-9 by the excellent Chinese boxer, Zhu Shimning, who went on to win the Olympic bronze and had been a world bronze medalist from the previous year. Shimning put Roushi Warren on the back foot right from the word go and Broadhurst has been allowing the American to, to dictate the pace of this contest. Well, he certainly has, but I'll reiterate that point, the right-handed southpaw lead is causing Broadhurst problems. Can't see them right hooks coming around the side. Just struggling a little bit, needs to lead off with his own jab, keep his left foot on the outside with the southpaw right and try and come over the top with his jab. 9-4 to the American as we come to the end of the first round. Four two-minute rounds, remember, in amateur boxing. Better stuff by Broadhurst and you can see that Warren on the back foot uh, is not all that good. Yeah, he's not as effective on the retreat. Likes to come forward, likes it all his own way, obviously. Wasn't everybody in the boxing ring. There's needle between these two. Well, that'll maybe not do a little bit of harm, but it'll certainly please the crowd. wonder what Terry Edwards is going to say to uh, Don Broadhurst in the England corner. You have to the second round, will you? Yeah, when you miss that, and what you're doing, the count is fine. Once you counted him, they go to the second place. Oh, okay. You heard it. Well, a busy opening round, and, and Warren lunging forward, fainted ever so slightly with that side for right of his. But what he did quite well was keep uh, Broadhurst on the back foot, where Broadhurst had a little bit of trouble. And it wasn't until the end of the round that Broadhurst actually was able to come forward, and that caused the American a problem or two. And when you allow someone as confident as Warren, who's boxed for the Olympics, remember, to come forward, well, you could be in trouble. Well, the Americans uh, once again disappointed with how things went in the Olympic boxing tournament in Athens. The man has won gold medal, one of their tourist halls for quite some time. They really haven't been a world force in amateur boxing since perhaps the uh, wonderful Olympics in uh, 1984. Good bit of sensible officiating. The referee just saying to them both that... Uh, listen and step back on the command good solid right hand from broadhurst at the start of the round but it's 11 5 a six point deficit the man who's leading is the man in blue roshi warren just 17 remember warren's the kind of southpaw you don't really want to fight he's one of these real cute uh, you know right-handed fighters you know quick sharp hands quick sharp counter punches he's obviously a little bit stronger having had the move up in weight and the confidence that he shows, just a little bit ahead of the game right now. Well, you've been in and around this sort of weight division. Does, does three kilograms, which is around about half a stone, make a difference? Oh, it, makes, it makes a tremendous amount of difference. When I actually moved from flyweight to the bantamweight division, obviously that's where I made my, 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 my strength sell when I moved from one weight to the next. But this kid's moved up also from the lower weight to this weight. And, you know, he, he looks so strong and looks really pleased with himself. I normally eat that for my lunch. Well, <laughs> <laughs> and it shows before you say it. I'm going to get you down, my Jim. <laughs> Bit of a problem there with the headgear of uh, Roushi Warren. Remember, everything has to be in place. The headgear, the gum shield, the cup protector, all of these are well meticulously checked. So back to come again. Five points the gap. A little bit of a flurry from Broadhurst could change all that. He's boxing with a little bit more confidence, but there's still a certain amount of wariness there. And he's allowing the American just to dictate this. Well, he needs to try and change the pace of this fight. He's just waiting a little bit too long and getting picked up from range. 
where Bordas has got his hands down by his side. It adds, oh, took a good shot there though, good one. It just adds to his reach. Five points between them, so it's not an insurmountable gap as we come up to the halfway stage. Broadhurst, Four Nations uh, silver medalist, had a terrific ABA championship title win in 2003 when he had a, one of the contests of the evening, 24-22. He took it from Matthew Marsh. Right hand from uh, Broadhurst, Warren saw it coming and just eased out of the way and it landed well, just on the outside of the shoulder, which doesn't count as the target area. Remember, the knuckle part of the glove is what has to be used, and the head and torso has got to be struck with sufficient force for a computer scoring point to be considered. You're allowing him too much room here. They're just closing down by walking in there and backing him up. Then kid to him, let him leave the shot, then you can count him, but then you go to second phase with the fella. What you did there was brilliant. Come on, yeah, much better. Good advice there from Terry Edwards. Look at the contrast in styles, and that was the classic counter to the southpaw because Don Broadhurst came right round the corner and then caught his man with a very good follow-up right hand. And there's a good solid straight right down the middle by Don Broadhurst and good footwork by the American. Double hook, double right hook, double right hook. You follow? Okay. Doing good. Uh, pretty Indeed, simple you know. advice from the American corner. Double right hook, well, double right hook. Now. You're doing good. Get him back. Coming. Referee brings them together with the command box. And again, we must uh, say only three verbal commands in amateur boxing. Stop, break and box. Everything else is done by, by signal. So it's a fairly straightforward universal language. And again, Broadhurst is just getting his uh, lead foot slightly inside the right foot of the southpaw from America in blue, Roushi Warren, the Olympic representative for the States in Athens just a few months ago at the 48-kilogram division. Well, Broadhurst actually took the initiative then and forced Warren on the back foot. Should have stepped in after that. Just waiting a little bit too long and getting caught with the counter punches. Yeah, a good slapping little right hand. And there again... Roushi Warren just upping the tempo a little bit. And he's opened up a 10-point gap now. Remember, if it goes to 20 by the end of the third, then the man on the receiving end is deemed to be uh, outscored. Certainly, they tend to be outclassed as well, but I don't like an amateur boxing for people to say outclassed. They prefer outscored. One of the old formalities still observed. Sure. Warren, to me, looks to be the best of the, um, the Olympic team right now because this guy's got so much class. You know, he's fighting like a real veteran in here. Working head and body. Got himself caught with the right hand, but he's opened up a, a very nice gap indeed. There's some 14 points between them, and uh, three quarters of a minute to go. Referee not happy with the Broadhurst hitting around the back of the head. Warren has just upped the, the pace and upped the accuracy in this, and he's looking very confident. Yeah, he certainly is, but look at the confidence on this guy. The patience that he's now showing. Fast hands, 15 points between them. I don't think he can make it. A 20-point differential by the end of this third round, but uh, Don Broadhurst, ABA champion of some 18 months ago, has gone in against a man for whom the Americans have great hopes. They'll send him certainly to Beijing next year for the World Championships, and he's certainly young enough to be around for another couple of Olympics, but that's unlikely to happen. Good solid right hand from Broadhurst. He needs a few more of those. Took a while for that to register. If Broadhurst could do that in the third and last round a couple of times, who knows what might happen. He certainly has the power, Broadhurst. Yeah, he needs more of that. He needs to apply more pressure. Well, he get a bit of confidence from that finish, knowing that he can actually catch his man. He perhaps just got a little bit on the careless side. Warren, mind you, all the way through, was forcing the pace of this contest and was the aggressor throughout. Let him commit himself, and then you go back in. Then you go to second place after you've let him commit himself. Now, Good busy round. There was a, a very solid looking right hand round the corner from the American. Broadhurst stuck to his task pretty well. Referee didn't like the way he hit his man round the back of the head. There's that sweeping right hand just blew away the defense of Broadhurst. He responded immediately with his best punch by far of the entire contest. Just turned the wrist over a little bit and there was a, a good little combination. There were two shots there from Broadhurst and only one of them in this uh, peculiar computer scoring system uh, earned him a point. Then you're going to get even more up. You're going to go even more up. Now do it the right way. You can really stop it. 
Throws him down. Come on, you guys. Put him down now, John. It's going to be tough to see how John Broadhurst in red, the 20-year-old from Birmingham, the Birmingham Irish Club representative, and here, of course, the English representative. It'll be tough to see what he can do to uh, pull back quite a big deficit against his American opponent, Roishi Warren, just 17 years of age. Yeah, credit to, to Broadhurst. He's trying. He's gone in winging this round. You know, he's trying to just throw whatever he can to land wherever he can, but he's... Uh, you know, Warren's just a little bit too cute up there. Good movement by Warren. I trying to keep himself out of trouble. And he'll suddenly, I'm sure, step in with that southpaw right of his. A little bit of a bounce there. Back to the way he boxed in the first round with the right hand. Very low indeed. Lovely little bit of switch hitting there from uh, Roshi Warren. Brought Birdhurst onto the right and then through the left round the corner. Yeah, that was real class. He just drew him in then. Drew him in, just threw the shots. And he switched him out, turned him right out to the centre of the ring again. Into the last round of what's been an absorbing contest at Flyway, the 51 kilogram division, the 8 stone division. These are two little men. He's leading off now with a straight left, is Warren, coming back with the right hook. Well, he's been ahead all the way through. He opened up a two or three point gap in the opening 10 or 15 seconds, which is a, a very good way to do things. And we've seen that in so many Olympic and World Championships. And that means that your opponent is always coming, chasing. Oh, lovely little bit of movement again, once again from Warren, delivered with the left hand. Slight problem with the, well, the little advertising triangle, pushed forward by an overzealous photographer. But her misses with a wild swing. He's 15 points adrift now. He's going to have to stop Warren, and I don't think Warren is going to stand still enough for him to no, do that. No, Warren's just, he knows he's got this one in the bag now. He's just, he's just using the whole ring, just boxed his way to a clear point victory. Well, Warren will be very pleased with that. Uh, Don Broadhurst will have learned an awful lot, but Warren, disappointed in how things panned out for him in Athens, losing in his opening contest, looks very comfortable with an extra couple of kilograms on, and the American corner will be well pleased with an American victory in this division. Don Broadhurst, still just 20 years of age, will have learned a little bit from that, and that'll stand him in good stead for the rest of what's going to be a pretty tough competitive season. Good, solid shot there. Look, one, two from uh, Warren. And those were very, very classy shots indeed. Nice and accurate. And Broadhurst simply couldn't get the distance properly. Got himself caught. Left and then right, different angle, but wonderful, wonderful example of good two-handed punching from the American. Russia, you look 